All right. I want to start off by saying Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Call Hala Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and who taught me this truth. And uh, Shalom to you, sincere Akiam, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And uh, Shalom to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to rot the za, it'll be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Rakak Wadash. And um, this uh, lesson is going to be centered around famine because we know two types of famine is coming up upon the earth, okay? A famine of the word, a famine of hearing this truth. You know, Amos 8 and 11, I believe 8 and 11, 8 and 12, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, a famine of hearing this word, this truth. You know, because this is the this is the um, the comfort, the answers, the wine, the, you know, this wisdom and knowledge. It's what's going to keep us stable, you know. And um, it's going to come a point when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to withdraw his men. He's going to he's going to sh he shut this truth up, man. And and um, he's going to unleash all manner of hell upon the earth, man. The plagues, okay, you know. And then uh, one of the plagues, like we know, is coming. Uh, like I said, there's a famine of the word, but also a famine, an uh, actual famine, a famine in the land of food, you know, of resources, okay? That's actually coming, okay? And it's going to happen suddenly, you know? It's going to happen suddenly. And that goes with the theme of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh ba Shai HaMashiach, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, coming back as a thief in the night when you least expect it, okay? You know? Hey, when they, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall come upon them, okay? As a woman in travail, and none shall escape, okay? So th this goes with that theme, this famine, the famine of food, resources, okay, goods, okay? It's going to happen suddenly when you least expect it. Well, at least, that's for the two-thirds. It's going to overtake them as a thief, but not for the elect, because what? We're watching, we're giving diligence, you know, we're, we're being obedient. We're occupying, like the Lord said, till he comes. You know, giving diligence to make our calling and election sure. We're watching. We're watching the news. We're watching the, the prophecies. Okay, we're watching the brothers. Okay, you know, we're measuring the time diligently. In our, in, in, you know, we're not just doing our own thing as the two-thirds are. They're walking in their own lust and their own vain imagination. We're, we're, we're steady chugging along that straight gate so that day doesn't overtake us as a thief. Okay. But best believe, this day is it's drawing nigh, man. It's quickly approaching. The famine of the word and the actual famine of food and resources, man. Okay? The persecution. Okay? It's all coming. Okay? 2022, the year of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai turning up. Second Ezra chapter 6, uh, verse 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Okay, and I got a couple other scriptures uh, uh, um, going along with famine, but uh, let's get into the article. This is off of RT, okay, um, from January 10th, 2022, the year of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai turning up, okay? It says, um, hashtag beer shelves Biden, okay? Okay, no more, um, no more, what is it? Let's go Brandon, the new hashtag for 2022, Okay, is beer shelves Biden? Okay, <laughs> hashtag beer shelves Biden trends in U.S. over supply issues. As supply shortages continue in the U.S., conserv conservatives blame President Biden for the beer shelves. And then there's a picture of it, as you can see, a man browse, browses largely empty shelves for cat food at Pet Club on November 18th, 2021. In Emeryville, California. Um, it says, hashtag beer shelves Biden became one of Twitter's top political trending topics. You see, no more let's go Brandon. It's hashtag beer shelves Biden. Okay. Became one of Twitter's top political trending topics as Americans posted photos of empty supermarket shelves amid continuous supply chain issues in the U.S. Angry social media, and, and not to mention uh, inflation, the price of food is going up, 
okay not you know so we know that's going to ultimately lead to hyperinflation okay and also we know for the lack of bread the scriptures tell you that the love of many shall wax cold we're in these times man it's about to get ugly as bubba spark said up in here up in here okay <laughs> it says angry social media users displayed photos of empty supermarket shelves from across from across the u.s and blamed the president joe biden for the supply issues with one american complaining i feel like i am in a third world country it says uh warm and, and the, we already saw the photos of um over there in england and so on and so forth uh, they were putting up um, paper cut cardboard cutouts of food because the shelves were empty. The the, the mask, the the shelves being empty. Over here, they were um they had you know they do many they have many different um ways to finesse the people so so that you don't realize that the goods are are running low. I noticed personally myself because I like to get shit on sale, buy one get one free shit like that. You know. You know, cause I I ain't balling like that. I got I gotta I gotta shop on a budget. So anyway, I, I notice a lot of time. Maybe it's cause they buy one get one free, but a lot of times the shit be close to expiration, man. Not like not like back before, man. You used to get shit that expired a, a while out. A lot of time, even even the shit that's not on the buy one get one free, the shit be close to expiration date, man. You gotta be careful. You'll pick up some shit that's already expired, about that's already expired or about to be expired. Cause that shows you that the the, the 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 goods are dwindling down, okay. Like I said, hashtag uh, beer shelves Biden, okay. So let's keep going. Um, and as you can see, here's a picture of a Walmart in a uh, Spanish Fort, uh, Utah, and then they they ta tagged it hashtag beer shelves Biden. Um, and you got some more photos, pet food aisles at Albertsons grocery store. And so it's all throughout the United States, not just isolated to one particular region. You see, you see, man, how about Shimei Al-Shai, Lord's Will is going to truly turn up this year, man. So, hey, so we got to tighten up, okay, and be on point because we don't want to get caught slipping, man. Okay, it says uh, pet food aisle at Albertsons grocery store in uh, Marysville, uh, I guess that's Washington. I don't know. So lock you. <laughs> it says a uh, hashtag beer shows Biden. So you you can see you get the idea. Some more in a uh, PA. Okay. So let's see. It says conservative uh, commentator and human events uh, senior ed editor Jack uh, Pazobiec, I guess so lock you, appeared to spearhead the social media campaign encouraging the critics of the 46th president to publish their own images and that's the thing now because of social media and uh knowledge increasing technology increasing this thing is uh, you you know people are getting information quickly left and right that's also why we know ultimately when this devil truly comes in as a flood as the scriptures say when the enemy shall come in like a flood yahweh shimei is going to lift up that standard against him but when this devil you know truly comes in the revelation 12 and 12 you know, he shows his true colors He's going to, uh, like I said, he's going to lock this truth down. He's doing it now, slowly, bit by bit. But like in Kazakhstan and these other countries, how they lock the internet down, they lock the the, the, the cell towers down. Okay, it's going to be a complete blackout, man. And this dude is going to move like a dead, you know, he's going he's gonna to move with great wrath, knowing that he had but a short time. Okay, you know, we're in, the, we're in these times, man. It's going, hey, suddenly, hey, you get the idea, you get the idea, man. Do your own due diligence, you know. I want to get to get to the scriptures, man. Let the Lord speak. Okay, again, uh, Second Ezra six and twenty two. You can read the whole chapter. The whole chapter's fire, but I want to drill the theme of uh, of famine, and it's gonna come upon you suddenly, man. Uh, Daniel uh, twelve and one, a time like never before. The things written aforetime were for for our learning, man. You know, so that we can have faith and comfort to the through through the scriptures, man. You know, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, we, you know, the Lord is not a man that he should lie. He said it. He, it's gonna come. To, it's gonna come to pass, man. Yahweh Shai Hamashiach said it himself. Not one jot nor one tittle shall pass from the law till all be fulfilled. So it's only a handful of prophecies that are left to be played out. Chiefly, uh, Jacob's trouble, which we're at the door of. This is a part of Jacob's trouble, and we know Jacob's trouble is leading up to the hour of temptation. Okay. When Esau Edom makes that karagma mandatory, which you're seeing the precursor to that, the forerunner, which are these jump shots, man. 
okay? These, this devil's piss, man, okay? It's the precursor to the karagma, okay? So the hour of temptation, that's another prophecy. And the third's woe, and, our, and then we out of here, man, okay? This destruction, this thermonuclear destruction, Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed, man. We're close. Our redemption is nigh. But through great tribulation, we're going to enter into the kingdom. It's going to be, it's going to all, it's going to be hell out here, man. So, and the only way you're going to get up out of that is if that thawa, that hedge is around you, that spiritual mark exempt from judgment. And Yahweh Shem Shai puts that, you know, his angels around you. As it says, the angels of the Lord encamp around them that fear him. You see? So, and we, we're going to need that hedge around us, man. You know? Because it's, it's going to get nasty. Again, 2 Ezra 6 and 22. And suddenly, and this is going to be, man, it's going to, and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. You know? I got a couple more. Um, Jeremiah, I'm going to get straight to the point, bang them out. Jeremiah uh, 14 and 15. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, and I sent them not, yet say, yet they say, sword and famine shall not be in this land. And that's a lie, okay? You know, that's a lie. They're telling you smooth things. They're teaching you prosperity doctrines. Everything is going to be all right. Jesus is all love and don't worry about it. You know, we shall overcome kumbaya. That's bullshit. The Lord is angry with the wicked, man, and he's about to judge this place. Okay, and he's not a respect of persons. He's about to slay utterly old, young, maid, women, children. He's not, he's about to get busy, okay? And we don't want to be caught on the bad side of the Lord. We don't want to feel that wrath, that indignation, that righteous anger. We're looking to be saved. So, hey, push, fight, okay? You see? Because, hey, like I said, this is coming to pass, and it's going to happen suddenly when you least expect it. You don't want that day to overtake you. Jeremiah 14 and 15. Therefore, these are the false prophets, the liars, whose mouths must be stopped. Jeremiah 14 and 15. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Jehovah concerning the prophets, these are the false prophets, that prophesy in my name, and I sent them not. Yet they say, sword and famine shall not be in this land. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. You see? You see? Yeah, we ain't prophesying peace. There is no peace, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is coming to set fire on this place. And he said, what uh, can he if it be already kindled? You know? Not peace. The Lord is not coming with peace, but a sword, man. Okay? You see? This is Jeremiah 15 and 2. Uh, um, it says, uh, and it shall come to pass if they say unto thee. Uh, matter of fact, let me, let me start at 1. Jeremiah 15 and 1. Then said the Lord Jehovah unto me, though Moses and Samuel, who were Moses and Samuel? Prophets. Okay, the Lord always sends his prophets out, his men to warn you before this destruction. Okay? You see, so it says, Then said the Lord Jehovah unto me, though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. And it shall come to pass... And the Lord is not a man that he shall lie. It happened before and it's going to happen again. And it's going to happen at, greater than before, man. You know, it's going to be much nastier. Okay. Daniel 12 and 1. It says, And it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith the Lord Jehovah, Such as for death to death, And such as for the sword to the sword, And such as for famine to famine and such as for captivity to the captivity and i will appoint over them four kinds saith the lord the sword to slay the dogs and the dogs to tear and the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy you see and that's coming that's coming man famine martial law civil unrest jacob's trouble we're at the door we're at the door um this is um let me see Hold on. Let me start at, uh, the main point is in 12, Jeremiah 44 and 9. Have you forgotten the wickedness of your fathers and the wickedness of the kings of Judah and the wickedness of their wives and, you, and your own wickedness and the wickedness of your wives, which they have committed in the land of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? And remember, we're a people before a place, okay? And wherever, wherever we go, we're supposed to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, man, in the land, okay? You see? 
So it doesn't matter if we're in captivity or not. We're supposed to keep the laws to the best of our ability, okay? You see, that's our wisdom in the sight of the nations, man, okay? So it says, they are not humbled even unto this day, okay? So back then, Jake wasn't right, and they, they're even more not right now, okay? They waxing worse and worse. As it said, um, Jeshuron waxed fat and kicked, man. Jake is haughty, proud, man. Completely bugged out of their mind, two-thirds of our own people. That's why the only thing left for them is death, but they're going to experience a grievous death, man, you know? This is, they are not humbled even unto this day, neither have they feared nor walked in my law, nor in my statutes that I set before you and before your fathers. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Yahweh Shai, the power of Yasharala Israel, behold, I will set my face against you for evil. See, because evil, bad times. The, the scriptures say, uh, remember the, the creator um, before the evil, in, in thy youth, before the evil days draw nigh. Okay, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, remember that creator in the days of thy youth before the evil days draw nigh. Because evil, Elder Apostle Gabor always brings out evil means bad, bad times. Okay, famine, that's part of the bad times. Okay, starving to death, that's a grievous death, as I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring out in the scriptures. Pining away, it says, Behold, I will set my face against you for evil. Because it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the one that's ultimately doing it. The scriptures say, Shall they be evil? In the city, and the Lord have not done it, okay? The Lord controls the issues of life and death. He heals and makes alive, okay? You know, none can deliver out of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's hands. So it would behoove you to sincerely seek the Lord and repent, you know? Seek the Lord while he may be found, okay? And matter of fact, you're supposed to seek him ten times more, okay? You see? It says, and I will, make, and I will take the remnant of Judah that have set their faces to go into the land of Egypt, all right? And remember, we're in, we're in Egypt, spiritually Sodom and Egypt, America, Babylon the Great, Mystery Babylon, okay? Egypt meaning bondage, okay? And I will take the remnant of Judah that have set their faces, Salaki, Salaki, it says, um, uh, where was that, Salaki? Um, and I will take the remnant of Judah that have set their faces to go into the land of Egypt to sojourn there, and they shall all be consumed. And they're doing that now. They trust in this devil, their oppressor. And they're going down there and taking the devil's piss. And ultimately, they're going to go down there and take his his karagma, his mark. That digital ul. And they're going to get thrusted through. You see? And I will take the remnant of Judah that have set their faces to go into the land of Egypt to sojourn there, to travel there. And they shall be all, and they shall all be consumed and fall in the land of Egypt. They shall even be consumed by the sword and by famine. So, and by the famine. That's the point. Okay. They shall die from the least even unto the greatest, because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not a respecter of persons. Like I said, he's going to slay utterly old, young, uh, maids, little children. Okay. And he's going to start with the ancient men. He's going to start with the ones of us that know this truth. That's why you got to sincerely be doing this thing. You got to sincerely be seeking the Lord. Okay. Because you can't trick the Lord. Okay. You can't. No ulterior motives. Not for filthy lucre. Not for a vain glory. Not for none of that. Okay. You know. It says they shall die. You got to be pushing this truth because it's our reasonable service. It's our, it's, it's our duty. You know. We're, we're bought with the price. This is the price. To confess the Lord, make your body a living sacrifice daily, you know. It says, they shall die from the least even unto the greatest by the sword and by the famine. And they shall be in execration and an astonishment and a curse and a curse and a reproach. Okay. Um, it says, for I will punish them that dwell in the land of Egypt as I have punished Jerusalem by the sword, by the famine and by the pestilence. You see. So even more of these uh, diseases are actually going to turn up. And we know Esau has the, uh, the CDC, the Center for Disease Control. He's the devil. Okay, he's the wicked, man. And he's going to unleash these uh, damn um, diseases. Okay. Uh, this is uh, two more and I'll close out. Lamentations uh, 4 and, and 9. Straight to the point. It says, they that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these pine away stricken through for the want of, of the fruits of the field. Yeah, because your body is going to uh, cannibalize itself. Your body always wants to survive. 
That's the strongest instinct in your body is to survive. So after all your body burns up all the fats in your body, you know, it's going to burn up, it's going to start to cannibalize itself. It's going to burn through your muscles and your and your, and your um your organs, you know, to try to survive. So you're going to pine away, you're going to waste away. That's a horrible death, man, and that's why we know cannibalism. Cannibalism is coming back in a big way, you see? Like I said, it, it, hor horrific times, man, are on the horizon. So it would behoove you to sincerely repent. Um, I'm going to close out here. Because um, at the end of the day, if we keep pushing, we keep having faith and get, keep giving diligence, you know, we're going to be good, man. The Lord is not, you know, um, unrighteous to forget our labor of love. Okay, he's going to confess us. He's going to put that hedge around us. You know, Lord's will we keep enduring. We be of that number. Okay. So this is uh to exhort you brothers to keep pushing. This 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 uh th these judgments, these plagues are for the wicked, man, okay? And not for the righteous, okay? You know? So Lord's will we be of that elk. You know, we keep enduring. I'm going to close out here. Isaiah 65 and 13. It says um therefore thus saith the Lord Yahweh, behold my servants, okay? Because we're, we're not servants of men. We're servants of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We're not servants of Esau. We're not servants of our women. We're not servants of our family. We're not servants of this world. We're servants of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We're going to do His will. We're going to be faithful unto death, Lord's will. We're going to confess the Lord till we can't confess no more. Okay? And we're not going to take this devil's mark. And we're not going to take his devil's piss. Okay? You see? Lord's will. It says, Behold, my servant shall eat. And because we do this, the Lord is going to defend us. He's going to confess us. He's going to, he's going to, he's going to protect us in those in them times, man. He's going to lift up a standard on this devil. Okay? It says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Yeah, the wicked, the two thirds of Israel, and these heathens. Okay? But behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink. But ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. That's the two thirds. Because they're going to experience death by pain. And then they're going to uh, wake up in the kingdom through the loins of the elect to everlasting shame and contempt. Which means they're going to have their heads down in the kingdom. They're going to be humbled for, for a period of time for what they did on this side. Okay? You know? So, anyway, I don't want to write this out. This came together and it made sense. Hey, like I always say, man, keep pushing. We're close, man. We're close. This thing is close, man. Close. Our salvation is, is nearer than even we believe, man. All right? So keep pushing, man. We're close. Shalom. Wa abad babal.